Hey everybody, Happy New Year, David here and uh, it's the first brew day of 2024. It's um, about three or four weeks since I last brewed. Well, it was 1st of December with Cheshire Dave, if you saw that video. We might have a sample of that lager later um, and another sample of the Logfire Old Ale, which I brewed on the G40, both of them. And uh, today it's a lager. I don't know whether you can see it. Just have a slurp of coffee. I'll just uh, spin you around just to show that I'm not making it up. No, can you see it? Recirking. There's about 8.2 kilos of uh, grain in there. Mainly lager malt, as you'd expect with it being a lager. And it's got some, uh, I'll spin you back. It's got some, I think, carapils in it. Well, I know it's got carapils in it. And it's got some um, flake corn in it. That torrified maize stuff. Not, not a lot. Now, I had wanted to put some Munich in, but I hadn't got any. So I thought, well, there's no substitute really. Probably Vienna malt, I ain't got any of that. So I thought, I'll just put a little bit of wheat in, just to make numbers up. Only a couple hundred grams, it, it'll not harm it. I'm going to use normal hops today. I'll get you just little bits of brew footage. Um, I just wanted to say I'm, I'm back in action. Because I've had Covid bad. I had it week before Christmas. I, could, I couldn't walk across the room, I could hardly breathe. Uh, Christmas day I struggled to put a dinner on and I, I couldn't taste it, just like rubber. You know, hours of effort, I'm not going to do that again. And then it's just rumbled on and on and on, but I, I'm feeling a bit better. I mean, I, I was that bad, I couldn't even taste beer. So that shows you how bad I was. In fact, I were off beer a bit. Never thought I'd say that. Anyway, I won't bore you. I'll just get bits of snippet uh, footage through the day, tell you the figures at the end, and um, we might just sample, as I said earlier, the Springbox Delight South African Lager. It's only been lagering just over three and a bit weeks. I don't know where David, Cheshire Dave's is. He, I know he's fermented it, but I think he might have bottled his. Uh, and then there's Logfire Old Ale that I brewed on here. Uh, I, I, oh, and then there's a stra Well, I can't drink them all, but I'll drink at least two. So I'll catch up with you in a bit. Bye for now. Okay, we're boiling now. The Technan leaf hops are in. Uh, we've only got 75% mash efficiency, but I've noticed on these 40 litre batches, when you put in eight, nine kilos of grain in, you get lower efficiency. But 75 is not bad. Pre-boil gravity was 1.044. Brew father said 1.045, so I'm not to one point under. So yeah, we're... Uh, do, going for an hour and I've got some more Technang and I think it's Erzbrucker to go in at 10 minutes before end and then at no minutes when we turn the power off I think we're putting some more Erzbruckers in but this is a German themed lager um, so so far so good apart from it was a very slow mash the uh, warning uh, came on the controller and warned me that the flow rate was slow and that indicated a stuck mash and it asked me to stir it which I thought was very good um, so I stirred it and it, it went off straight away and it were okay after that so yeah this G40 I'm enjoying it still got my old G30 look which I used to boil up my extra sparge and I can always do a small batch in it if I want but I do like this uh, G40. So far, so good. Well, I've got uh, 17 litres in that one. And I thought I'd put the rest uh, into this uh, Corny Club fermenter. So there might be 20, 21. But 17 I'm happy with there. And we'll see what we can get uh, into this uh, Corny Club. They're both going to have Nova Lager yeast in. That's going to be fermented a bit higher because I'm taking that up to the kitchen. So 
so that might be fermented higher. But it'd be a good experiment. This will be temperature controlled. Start at 12 degrees for seven days and then increase it two degrees a day, which I normally do for a lager till I get to 20 for one day. Um, so I've just, I have got uh, OG yet, but it's looking around 10.50. I mean, it was 44 pre-boil. If I get 40, well, I think it's at 48 on Brewfather, OG. So I, I by the look of that, this blues start at 50, isn't it? It's going to be, uh, well, I'll get back to you in a bit because I'm going to sample some beers. I'm ready for a drink. So uh, I'll carry on with this and we'll, uh, we'll finish off with a few samples of a beer. Okay, everybody, uh, brew day's finished. I split the batch into two. I put 17 litres of the wort in there. Finished at 1050 OG, which is a couple of points higher than brew father said. And I put a bit more in the conical, 21 litres maybe. The problem was I didn't chill the uh, wort down enough. I should have chilled it down to 15 or 16 degrees Celsius. It was 25. So I made a bit of a mess there. So I'm having to, I haven't pitched the yeast because you can't pitch it unless it's below 20. But it should cool pretty quick because it's, it's very cold here. And that one will be down to 20 now, I should think. So I will, I'll be pitching it soon. Cleaning the uh, G40 out. I had a slight bit of a problem uh, because some hot debris got in the middle, uh, sorry, the bottom, and it, it wouldn't come out. But I, I took that tap off, just unscrewed it, put a hose pipe up, and after five minutes, it's cleared as a bell. No problem at all. So, yeah, it's finished now. So, um, thanks for joining me on this brew day on uh, the lager. Here it is. And uh, I'll just try a drink with you. This is what David and I brewed on the 1st of December, the... Springbox Delight South African Lager, finished at 6%. was only kegged on the 23rd of December, so it's probably three weeks and a day, is it? It is clearing. Just have a quick slurp for you. That is going to be very good if I can keep it another three months. I'm not trying it again now till at least April. Honest. Cheers. Mm. That's beautiful. It's got a dry finish, but it's got those South African hops coming through. Uh, I think the spring box will like that when I take them. So, this is the um, Blogfire Old Ale at 5.5%. I've had maybe three or four pints of this from the keg, and it is a superb drink. It's like. Um, but it's similar to an Abbot Ale, you know. Hmm. That's a Strata Pale, which is quite old now. The other thing is that uh, Logfire Old Ale, that was my first brew on the G40. I did split it into two batches and use different yeast. So I bottled one lot and I used Nottingham Danstar yeast. That finished at 5.8% ABV um, with the Nottingham yeast. This one I'm drinking out of the keg had SO4 yeast in and that finished at 5.5. So the Nottingham went a bit higher on the ABV. Which do I prefer? Well, I had a bit of a competition on WhatsApp group and said, which of the two did I prefer? And of course, my good friend and professional brewer, John Campbell, who has his own brewery at Ilkeston, he said, oh, you'll pick the bottled one, definitely bottle condition. So he was correct. And so he's going to get some of these pet bottles of it. And when I go down and I give him a, a day's help in his breweries, as soon as I can, you've won them, John if you're listening and watching. So that's it. We just finished cleaning up. Bit of a mess outside. I better just hose the flags down and 
Shut the shop open. Maybe have a few more beers. I'm getting my taste back now after COVID, and that's great. All the best, everybody. Happy brewing. Love you all. And thanks for listening and watching.